what is going on everyone guiding light here back with another video and in this one i want to talk to you guys about some of the brand new playstation 5 info which has just been released now i know a lot of people are pretty hyped for the next generation of consoles i'm honestly really excited to get my hands on the new playstation 5 and you know maybe about a month ago or so playstation did have their press conference which did end up revealing what the console would look like. At that point in time, we also found out there's going to be two different versions of the PlayStation 5. There's going to be one version, which you can insert discs into, and then there's going to be an another edition that is all digital. Now, we also got to see some really cool games which will be released for the PlayStation 5 as well. Unfortunately, the only thing that we didn't get, even after the two-hour press conference, was a price or a pre-order date. Now, over the last few weeks, a lot of things have actually happened with the PlayStation 5 behind the scenes, and it does look like we have a price now, and something that does look like a pre-order date as well. Now, if it wasn't for the coronavirus, it does look like the pre-orders would have already began, but Sony is working with their supplier, and they're sort of afraid that maybe they won't be able to meet the supply quotas that they had initially had. So it does look like that the PlayStation 5 will be very limited at first due to the coronavirus. They don't know if they can make as many consoles as fast as they were hoping to make them in the last few years. So now it's going to be even harder to pre-order a PlayStation 5 than before. Obviously the demand for this thing is going to be pretty high and it looks like we do have some speculated prices. Now, the reason we actually have these prices is because certain websites like Amazon have accidentally allowed their PlayStation 5 pre-order pages to go up before they were supposed to actually launch. So we do actually have a price set in now for the PlayStation 5 and it does look like the non-disc version will cost about $350 to $400 and the price for the console that has the disc insert will go for about $449 to $499. So if you were looking to pre-order a PS5, it does look like you do need to set up inside a pretty big chunk of change, depending on which version you want. Now, when coming to the decision with that, you gotta kinda think like whether or not you're really going to end up putting discs into this thing because the PlayStation 4, although it has always had a disc insert, I don't think I've ever really gone ahead and gotten any of the disc-based games. Now, there's certain games that you might like the cover arts for, or some pretty big games like The Last of Us in general that you might have gotten a limited edition copy of, and those of course do come with discs, but for most of the games that come out, a lot of the times you don't really actually buy a disc for it, but I know people that have been with the PlayStation for a while, like since PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, something about not having a disc insert does just seem a little bit odd and weird. So personally, I probably will go with the version that has a disc insert just because there's a couple more things that you can do with it. And then there's also the case that you can play Blu-rays on it as well. And after owning pretty much all of the PlayStation consoles, something about not having a disc tray is a little bit weird. Now, on top of this, we also have the hard drives, which will be coming out as well. There is a solid state drive within the PlayStation 5, and it looks like if you do want to upgrade later down the road to have more storage for your games, you will have to buy a PlayStation branded hard drive. So they might not just make it so you can plug in any standard SSD, and it does look like they're going to have specific PlayStation proprietary hard drives, sort of like we've seen on the PlayStation Vita. So the information that I did want to try to bring to you guys is that the PlayStation 5 pre-orders do look like they're going to be going live very, very soon. Amazon and Walmart have both accidentally put up their pre-order pages early. I'm not really sure if anyone was able to actually make a purchase on these items or not, whether or not they've just been added to a waitlist now or if any of them actually put money down. But it does look like based on these reports of the PlayStation 5 that the release date will be somewhere around November 20th. When these pages went live, they actually were shown that the release date would be on November 20th of 2020. Now if you go over to Amazon now, unfortunately the page where you could actually see the product details and put in for your pre-order has since been taken down. Now you can still go over to the PlayStation 5 page over on Amazon, but unfortunately you're only going to get the product details and some information about the games which will be coming out, but unfortunately you cannot put in your pre-orders just yet. Now. On Best Buy's website, Target's website, and even the GameStop website, in case you were wondering at the exact time that the console would be released, you can actually go over to these websites right now and sign up for their email list. So as soon as the official 
page does go live, you should get an email. So if you have your notifications turned on, you'll be able to jump on the pre-orders straight away and actually guarantee that you're going to get a console. Now, we don't really know exactly how many consoles Sony will have ready for this holiday season, but I would imagine that as always, the quantities will be quite limited at first. Now, anytime a new console comes out, they usually don't have that many in stock right away. This is to drive the demand for the product up so they'll maybe only release 100,000 consoles which will then be bought up pretty quickly and then sometime around Christmas they'll release the next batch of like three to 500,000 consoles for the holiday season. Now they do this on purpose one because the production costs do go down the more consoles that they make and on top of that they also have to keep the demand for the product high so if only a certain number of people can get it then people will want to buy it more. So keep in mind guys, if you're also considering buying the PlayStation 5, but you don't necessarily have the money right away, you don't necessarily have to be one of the first people to buy the PlayStation 5, as a lot of these games will still be available on the PlayStation 4 and the previous gen consoles. On top of that, about a year or so after the console comes out, they always do come out with the slim version as well. And sometime around 2021 in January or February, you should be able to just walk into your store and buy the PlayStation 5 right then and there and not have to worry so much about how they are selling out because you have to imagine that once these consoles do hit the store shelves they're only going to have maybe two or three per store and there will most likely be people waiting outside to purchase them and as soon as they get a restock the same thing will happen those people will know when the uh, stores are going to restock and usually they will scoop them up pretty quickly and it will be a little bit hard to get your hands on one unless you go on to maybe ebay and pay uh, even more money for it through those websites but if you did want to get onto the preferred list, I would go over to the Best Buy website, I would go over to the GameStop website as well, and sign up for their email list. So if you go onto their websites or you just Google Best Buy PlayStation 5, Target PlayStation 5, you will be brought to their websites where you can sign up for the email list. Now I will also make another video show letting you guys know when the official PlayStation 5 has launched as well for the official pre-order pages. Now if another accidental upload does go down for the Amazon pre-orders or maybe even on the Walmart website. I'll make another video letting you guys know that there has been another leak and that you can officially pre-order the PlayStation 5. Now, if another leak does go out, there's a chance that it might be taken down again. We even have apparently customer receipts of people buying a PlayStation 5 at GameStop, but I don't know if this is necessarily real as you can see that the price for the console is a bit lower than we were expecting. But the fact that that is actually up and there's people with receipts printed out does mean that the PlayStation 5 is already in the GameStop system. Otherwise, this wouldn't have been able to be printed out in the first place. So who knows, maybe they were able to just put down some of the money at first and they're gonna pay the other half later. You never really know what this could mean, but the fact that this receipt was printed out, I don't necessarily think it was a typo and does mean that the PlayStation 5 is officially in the system. Now, another thing to keep in mind about the PlayStation 5's release date is that for all of the previous PlayStation consoles, because Sony is based in Japan, they usually would release the console one month early in Japan. And we have reports now from Sony themselves saying that the PlayStation 5 release date will be global. So what that means is that the PlayStation 5 will release on the exact same day for everyone, no matter what country you are in. So if you're in the UK, Australia, Japan, it doesn't actually matter. They're going to have a global release day, meaning that the PlayStation 5 will release all at the same time across the globe, which is honestly pretty cool. For the PlayStation 4, I know, or for at least for the PlayStation 3, they did have a one month early access in Japan and this has been the trend for pretty much all of the Sony products as it's easier for them to supply Japan with the consoles and the demand is usually quite high there as well. But other than that though guys, that's pretty much it for this video guys. That's all the information we know about the PlayStation 5 and the pre-orders. Like I said, if another little leak does come out regarding any of the information, whether the prices change, whether the amount of consoles they're going to make does change, or whether or not you can actually officially pre-order, even if it's just for a limited time, I will let you guys know. But one thing to keep in mind, guys, is that there will probably be two different waves of pre-orders. The first wave of pre-orders, I would imagine, will sell out very, very fast within the first 12 hours or so. And after a few more months have gone by, sometime before the release of the PlayStation, which is set for November, as what they're saying right now, there should be a second batch of pre-orders. This happens with pretty much all products. Anytime that there is like a limited edition video game that releases or like a collector's edition, Amazon will usually have a second round of pre-orders. So as soon as that first one does sell out, 
they get all their statistics together they figure out just how much demand there is for the product and then usually Amazon is usually able to get their hands on a few extra consoles so they should have a second wave of pre-orders up as well hopefully they end up doing this for GameStop as well and some of the other uh, stores like Best Buy so even if you don't get in on the very first wave of PlayStation 5 pre-orders do keep your eye open because there is a chance that there will be a second wave of pre-orders released in the next few months after. But other than that though guys, just keep your eyes peeled for the videos on the channel. Be sure to register for those email lists on the Best Buy, Target, and GameStop websites so that you're informed as soon as the official pre-order pages do go live or maybe if another accidental one goes live, you may get an email about that as well and you will be able to pre-order. But it does look like sometime in the next week, to the next two to three weeks that the PlayStation 5 will be having its first round of pre-orders. So I did want to make this video to let you guys know to keep your eyes peeled and to sign up for those email lists. So hope you guys did enjoy and as always guys I will catch you in the next video. Peace.